Hi folks. Well, uh, it's cold and rainy today, so uh, of course, what better time to uh, talk about solar power than a cold and rainy day. But uh, <clears throat> that's what we're going to do here. Now, this is my portable solar charging station that I made, and I've been using it, and it works well. Uh, I'm really happy I made it, and I think some other people may want to make one also. So, this is going to be a two or three part series on how to make one of these things. And this is part one. Now, the first one I made, I made uh, with a 20 watt solar panel because that's the way laser saber made his and uh, it's good and I like it but uh, unfortunately it takes from the low battery to charging it up to full battery it takes about 16 hours with this uh, 20 watt solar panel so I decided to <coughs> upgrade the one that I'm going to show in this video, this series of videos, to a 40 watt solar panel. And that way it'll charge twice as fast in theory. Now, uh, I bought this on eBay. I paid $87 for it. And it's a Chinese solar panel. It's a, a soap prey, and I've read about them before I, I bought it, and I guess it gets pretty good reviews. Uh, not excellent, but if it's a Chinese one, and if they're made in Europe, Canada, or the United States, they cost uh, probably at least twice as much. So I decided that I would get a Chinese one uh, for $87. I really didn't have 200 to shell out for the solar panel. But uh, that's the first thing you'll need if you're going to make one of these things. But of course you need all the stuff. And one thing you're going to need is four batteries like this. Now these are lithium iron batteries and you can get these also on eBay. Now uh, these are 3.3 volt 10 amp batteries. And they use these things in uh, electric cars and some people use them to, st to store solar energy and of course that's what we're going to do uh, in this case but they'll all be built in to the solar panel and I'm going to just show what we have in here to get started with uh, you got the batteries and there are four of these four of these batteries then you have this circuit protection board here and you gotta have one of those, you can't really use these kind of batteries without one uh, if they overcharge or undercharge you'll ruin them and then on this one we've got a charge controller and then what you're looking at right there is the power inverter so you get usable power from it it's all built in, self-contained, and uh, it's a really fantastic device. So we're going to show you how to make one. Now, what I'm going to include in this video is I'm going to talk about uh, the things that you'll need. And I can't really exactly tell you where to get them because those things change uh, pretty dramatically as uh, as time goes by so 
if I include stuff about where to get things, uh, it, it may be valid today, but uh, later it may not be. Uh, now, the uh, this this board here uh, is an important part of it, and those uh, <clears throat> those boards can be had online. Now, I will put a link to this, and you absolutely can't build one of these things without having this. But uh, that's pretty much where you need to get it. And I've looked around for other places to buy this this unit, and I can't find one. So. And that's a, uh, a Duracell pocket inverter, uh, and those are uh, pretty cool little gizmos. I don't figure Duracell's going out of business anytime soon either, but I got that particular unit on Amazon, and I'll show what that is also. So uh, that's about it for this part of the video. now. Next, I'm going to put up a, a wiring diagram that I made, and that is downloadable. If you go to laserhacker.com and go to the Soul N1 discussion, because it's a discussion group, and uh, click on the Soul N1 discussion and go to page 16. I have, uh, you'll see, if you if you read JWWM2, I've uh, <clears throat> I uploaded the the schematic or the diagram to to that to that group, so it is downloadable if you want one, and I do recommend you have it. Uh, when I made it, there was no diagram available, and it was somewhat challenging for me to figure out exactly how to do everything, but uh, I'm going to make it easy for everybody else because it wasn't easy for me. So, that's it for this part of the video. This is the wiring diagram that I put together. And I think it's fairly complete. Uh, I'm not really very good at using the drawing program, but the, uh, it shows all the solder points, the protection circuit module, the battery connections, and the power connections. I mentioned on there that the charge controller, all those connections are screw-on types. Uh, you put it in a hole and then screw down to tighten it. So once the soldering is done, getting the rest of it connected up is fairly easy. Uh, the one tricky part, you'll notice that those batteries are, they're all uh, attached in series, but they have a, uh, an, a one wire coming off of each connection where they're connected in series, and those go to the, the battery circuit protection module so that's about it now uh, this will be on laserhacker.com the Solon 1 uh, the Solon 1 discussion part there's three of those up there there's three Solon 1's but the one that just says Solon 1 is the one you want and it's on page 16 so if you want to download this in PDF uh, format, you'll be able to do that. Uh, here I'm going to show the main parts of the stuff you need. Uh, this stuff is not a part, but you're going to need it. Otherwise you won't be able to uh, solder to the aluminum tabs on those batteries. You will need this or something like it. And then... Uh, you're going to need these batteries. You need four of them. Uh, all this stuff will be in, a in the description, by the way. I'll uh, have actual names. Plus this circuit board. You cannot do it without it. Uh, it's recommended to have one of these solar charges. It makes it way easier. 
and uh, this is the uh, the power inverter and it's 110 plus it has a USB port so that's the end of part one of this uh, instructional video series and just for fun I lit up the Christmas tree with the solar panel now in the next video we're going to do some actual construction uh, I'd recommend that you if you're going to make one of these that you pretty much have all the parts that you need uh, together before you start on it uh, starting with the solar panel and the batteries but of course you need everything really including the circuit protection uh, circuit board and uh, you really do, do need everything. You should probably get all that stuff together before you start uh, making it so that you, you know you have everything. And I'd recommend that you check those batteries with a multimeter to make sure that they work before you solder them. And I'll show you what I mean on how to do that in the next video. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas.